what's up y'all i got a family to feed so let's get into this tea now before we start this video i want y'all to know i appreciate y'all for tuning in the way you tune in because you can be anywhere else but y'all be here with me and i appreciate y'all for that all right uh i can express that every day but i want you to know that i appreciate y'all uh so we about to get into uh this video krishan is not in the best of moods i'm almost a little nervous to show these tweets so I'm going to find something on Instagram. But basically, Krishan is saying that uh, it's easier to be unalive than alive today. Um, and I just want to say, Krishan genuinely, and I mean genuinely, uh, needs a reset. And I mean a reset alone, right? She needs time to herself to be able to zen out. And just take care of her. The reason why I feel like she feels this way, though, is because she's taking care of too many things right now, as, especially at 23. Taking, a care of, taking care of entirely too much. She's taking care of uh, Junior. She's taking care of all her siblings, damn near. Um, and she's taking care of her actual team. And her baby daddy is a hater. He's been a hater since day one. I don't know why he's such a hater, but he is. Um, so she's genuinely going through a lot of shit that a lot of people behind the scenes are or have gone through. But I think until she grasp that she got to get that peace, that she got to get that time to herself, she's going to continue to go through this. And uh, at some point, we 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 got to get this. We got to get this up out the way. Okay. Um, so. If any of y'all see this or, hell, I, I don't know who be watching my videos. Sometimes the actual people I talk about do watch the videos. Sis, take some time to yourself, bruh. Like, everybody reports on Krishan because Krishan wants to be reported. I'm just let y'all know right now. The clout is what get Krishan money. So don't get it misconstrued that when people post her, that's the problem. Because that's not the problem. Krishan, like, she, <laughs> she'll tell you, get your screen recorders out. Okay? So that's not the problem. Is everybody else. You know what I'm saying? And also the decisions that she's making, because I'm not, not giving her any accountability or whatever. The decisions that she are she's making as well is another problem. You know what I'm saying? So at some point, she's going to have to get a hold of it and, and take control of her situation. Um, so I'm going to go to Twitter because, hell, it look better on Twitter than it does Neighborhood Talk right now. <laughs> um, so first of all, yesterday she said thank you to Marsh. Marsh, I love you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Marsh is a real one. Uh, I will say I watched Marsh's video and I'm about to put that reaction out because I did that last night. But Marsh is absolutely a real one, bro. Marsh put her life on the line for uh, Young Junior a, a, a couple days ago. And the way Marsh came talking about it is she'll fight whoever, whenever, however. She don't care. But she was taking us both. Okay? Marsh is one of them real ones to have around. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that she has Marsh around her. Um, Marsh was on some stand for something on fall of everything type shit that night. And uh, shout out to Marsh. Um, also, she said this nigga really, uh, I don't even want to put that word up there, y'all. I ain't even going to put that word up there. I mean, I don't really want to put the other word up there either. So we just going to put this one. I don't really be trying to express myself in a negative way, but damn, sometimes I wonder why, 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 why. Okay. Uh, the tweet before that is her saying that uh, it would be easier if she just um, were to unalive herself. And you know that when people do that, that is absolutely a cry out. Like she needs help. You get what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if it'll help for her to talk to a, um, a therapist and especially with a damn network, like if she were to speak to a therapist, it needs to be alone. Nobody needs to know who her therapist is. She did say she had a therapist, but sometimes y'all, it ain't always therapy because even with therapy, you have to put in the work. You get what I'm saying? Everybody always say, talk to somebody, get help. But without you helping yourself, nobody can help you if you don't help yourself. I don't believe that she don't want to help herself. I just think that she don't know how to help herself. Like y'all, when I, when I feel negative or when I feel a negative energies, I'm at my worst. Like y'all wouldn't even be able to recognize me 
because I am I am getting a certain feeling or I'm 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 having a certain vibration that does not connect with who I am. You get what I'm saying? So I if I if I start to get irritable or if things start to get off, that's why I'd be so quick to cut whoever off. Like I don't have time for that. First of all, um, I'm cool with burning a bridge. I, I know how to build them. You get what I'm saying? That's the difference between me and a lot of niggas. So with that being said, I don't I I I have to have that time to myself to realize what is going on. And then I have to change that. But I will say I did learn learn that in my 30s. So she 20 something in front of the world going through this shit. She going to have to learn. And unfortunately, she going to have to learn ASAP. Uh, I'm going to read these comments. I don't necessarily want to show this tweet, though, because I ain't got time. So I'm going to go to this Twitter here. Um, unfortunately, YouTube is a pain in the ass. So let's go here. Ah, there we go. All right. These are the comments. Um, I rebuke this negativity on my timeline. Seems like people run the social media for everything, but don't know how to run to God. I pray they find their way. Okay. It's kind of hard to feel bad for someone who continues to play an active part and why shit is hard for them. I can't disagree with that. Um, her continuing to, to, you know, have to do it to Blueface definitely got him in this mode because he feel like he can do whatever he want to to her. And that's a problem. But not only that, her sisters are telling her to stay with this fool. And respectfully, you know, their mom went through it. They talk about it all the time because I ain't being rude. I don't disrespect mothers. But her mom went through the same thing. She, Krishan even said she watched her mom go through that. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's all her sisters know, you know? Um, y'all ain't like she didn't go through something traumatic. Her baby father took her child out in his warm bed and was trying to fight her friend, but nobody coming at blue face all crazy. They are. He just stupid. Uh, I feel like eating chicken wings. Pray for me. I'm on a diet, <laughs> a concerning tweet or a clout chasing tweet. She texts then. She texts then, not then. This is how I know she's not serious. Y'all said online to bully this girl off everything she does, and now y'all saying pray for her. How about not shading her about everything she does every single day? Uh, I'm all out of sympathy, sympathy for these kinds of adults. God bless. I feel like the other BM deserves the sympathy that she gets. Mm. All that money and fame can't fill voids, y'all. Remember to tend to your mental health and have a life in real life. And you know what's so crazy with all that money? They don't make the 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 hell of a move that needs to be made, right? So a hell of a move that I would want to make as a celebrity that just can't get away from the world, I would have to put myself in in somebody's corner or in some corner, right? Where am I going with this? <clears throat> you can't go out of town all the time because now everybody know you going out of town. You damn sure can't hop on no regular flight because everybody know you on this regular flight. You can't do a lot of shit when it comes to being a celebrity with money. But what you can do is make your dwelling your everything, right? Dwelling is your home. What she has done is messed up the dwelling because now everybody's in her house. Everybody knows where she lives. There is no peace. So now you got to find peace, right? That starts here. But you still need time and you still need nobody. You don't need nothing and nobody. Y'all, I swear I would get me a fucking penthouse. And I know that y'all like that. Ain't, what, is a pen, what is the penthouse for? Penthouses are for exclusivity only. I'm getting this place. If I find out y'all motherfuckers in this building, I'm talking about the building to the to the management. All y'all. If if I see anything of this company saying where I live. I'm telling you. I'm suing everybody. Yes, penthouses offer security, but exclusivity. You don't know where I'm going. Follow me. Security, cool. Exclusivity, because A, I get to look down and see what the fuck. I 
get to see a view that I like. That's number one. That That's a, 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 a spiritual zenful thing for me. Okay. Then I'm in this place with nobody, bro. Me. Don't ever tell nobody I live here. Management. And I'm going to be there. I'm talking about y'all wouldn't see here for me nothing for probably months. Nobody's going to come knocking at my goddamn door unless it's um, what you call it. The people from the front desk. Leave me alone. Okay. I would get a nice place put up that offers me security and exclusivity because they are nice. They have stairs. You can go up. Some of them got pools on the inside. This is the exclusivity part. All right. Some of them come with jacuzzis and shit. You know what I'm saying? I would probably get me a chef to drop me off some good old food every day. But I still ain't got to talk to you. Bring me my shit. This is what I want. Drop my shit off at the door. And I'm going to have food. I'm not going to fuck with nobody. Me and my child would be right there for months. No cap. You... If you get on a jet, go out of out of the country now. That's different as well. Cause what I'm saying is if she's if she gets on a commercial plane, everybody gonna know she on the plane, right? You go get a jet. Everybody ain't showing that jet. Only time we know they own jets is when they show the jet. You never see a pilot like, yo, yo, got in them on a the jet. We wouldn't even know. So go get you a motherfucking jet. Go out the country. Find you a nice spot. Well, don't nobody know who the hell you are. Okay. Or I will get me a penthouse in whatever state I want to be in up, up, up in the air with a pool up in that motherfucker. I need a jacuzzi up in that motherfucker. I'm going to have me a chef to drop me my shit off at my door. Don't bother me. I'm cutting the phones off. Leave me alone. That's what Krishan need. And I feel like if she's sitting that shit, don't drink no alcohol, don't smoke no weed. You literally got to sit in your shit. You know, when we all had to sit in our shit during COVID, we all had to sit in our shit. Like, shout out to Coach Stormy. She did a lot of fuck shit around that time and fucked up a lot of money, lady. However, what she did say was... You're in the hell that you created. That's what Coach Stormy said. And out of everything she said around that time, that's the only thing that really sat with me. Like, damn. And at that time, I got kicked out out of a place I had just moved into. I had to move in um, Honey Saw Sister Place, okay? It was a lot of people up in that motherfucker. Um... I'm not used to noise. It wasn't no Wi-Fi because the building wouldn't allow us to get Wi-Fi. Nothing. So what I'm used to, it wasn't there. So I really, really, really had to humble myself. I really had to sit in my shit. And I really had to sit in what I created. And that's why y'all always see me buying things to make my area look nice. Because I'm going to live in the heaven that I create. Okay? So... At some point, I ain't trying to be preachy, but shit, God coming through me because I don't even, it's just coming out. It is what it is. But with that being said, that's what she needs to do. Make that place nice. Make it look the way she wanted to look, bruh. Do shit your way by your rules. All oh, y'all going to have to figure it out. Sister's going to have to figure it out. Y'all can have that house. The house I done paid for for a year, had that bitch. Y'all can have it. I'm going to be in my penthouse or I'm going out the country and I'm going to get me a house out there where don't nobody give a damn about me. Real shit. It's countries out there that don't know you. They don't give a fuck about nothing you talking about. Okay. But anyway, that's what I would do. Um, Coach Stormy definitely, she harsh, but she was real in that moment. And um, she, hell, Coach Stormy got me out of a lot of shit I was in. Now, although, you know. She can say some things that are how you like, yo. <laughs> However, she definitely said a lot of things to to get me in my get my shit together. Um, so Krishan just needs somebody to help her get her shit together, or she need to sit in the shit that she's created and get out of it herself. A lot of times, y'all can't nobody help us but us. Y'all know that. Nobody can help her but us, man. Unless she's really gonna listen to somebody. 
And ultimately, I know all y'all is like, what about God? What about God? What about God? We already know. He the main one you got to listen to. The person in charge of you is who you need to be listening to. Whoever that God may be for you. You know what I'm saying? Whoever's watching over you and stopping you from uh, getting up out of here. You know what I'm saying? But I'm done preaching. All right. I love y'all. Uh, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I pray that Krishan changes her thoughts. I pray that these things reverse um, for her. Um, I pray that she get the hell away from everybody. Oh, everybody. Everybody got to go. She needs straight up isolation for months. Damn near a year the way shit is going. For real. And um, watch everybody else fall in line. Just let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.